Hey, good morning. Uh, this is where we're at now, is uh, Kataeel. Kataeel, uh, Mindanao. Uh, the southern island of the Philippines, uh, the big island of the Philippines in the south. On this beautiful beach, it's known as uh, Miracle Nine. Uh, because of the surf here, it's nine kilometers. That ends, that ends about nine kilometers. Uh, an amazing surf beach. Uh, and we just come out here every morning and we're meditating, listening to the sound of the waves, looking at the shore. Um, but just this beautiful cream cellar, cre cream cellar, cream colored sand. Look at this, just amazing. Uh, uh, mind blow this is like a whole different thing for me because we've been traveling in the truck uh, for quite a while uh, which has been amazing uh, seeing all different uh, parts of the Philippines waterfalls caves we've seen uh, different beaches met a ton of people tried a different all different types of food uh, from street food to restaurants uh, met a chef uh, had some of his cuisine which was amazing uh, and just the potential in in the foods that I kind of was limited at. You know, I was doing mostly the Candarias, Candarias, which is like a low cafeteria, street cafeteria, basically. Great food, it's home style cooking, uh, but it's been real nice to uh, try some of the, sh like, like a chef prepares, right? So someone that's really artful with their cooking, not just home style is great, but you know, a little more flair, a little more fusion in there. And that's been really nice. And then we actually had an opportunity last night here at a place called uh, Hig, Hig, I'm gonna just butcher the name. I'll get the name here later, but it's basically Mama Rose and Mike's uh, place, uh, resort and they have these little bungalows and ours is here right on the end here so let me go show you what it's all about um, we've been here every morning we get to come out here on the beach and meditate and uh, do all that and that's been spectacular i really needed to get my practice back with meditation um, just uh, prayer and meditation really helps me to drop from my mind to my heart and my heart's the best place to be for me because i really can be in the present moment um, but I just wanted to show you this cabin we're staying at. It's uh, definitely got uh, a little, um, <laughs> it isn't, excuse the, the mess, because uh, we just kind of moved into it uh, and threw our stuff everywhere, but it's okay. Uh, we don't need to be all clean and proper, but obviously got our garbage, but we got all our stuff. We got a camp stove here, another camp stove here for coffee. They gave us a nice table. We have our water, a little food. We make coffee, a nice little, chair for us and then inside we got our bed two fans i actually bought this fan but we have two i put one on wanagi she usually sleeps here in her bed and then just a little they call them crs here a bathroom a toilet and then here's our shower a bucket with water and uh it's pretty basic um we we actually got this mosquito netting ourselves and put it in that window and it keeps all the mosquitoes and the bugs out at night but lets air flow through um and it's really here's our dresser <laughs> you see our dresser yeah that's nice but uh, it's really simple but that's what we wanted just a simple thing we got ourselves a surfboard so in the afternoons we've been going out and uh relearning to surf again which has been pretty cool and uh and that's basically it this is wanagi's little stretch here not sure where she is off to let's go find her but it's just a small little Nipah hut kind of bungalow, you see? And uh, Wanagi kind of just hangs out on the side there in the sand, but she's always going off on a little adventure because it's a little jungle hood here and she loves the smells of everything. And there's a lot of people with little baby chicks. Pretty cute. And uh, we're going in here. This is the kitchen area. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Honey. And uh, that's where they prepare all the amazing food. There's a nice little dining area here uh, for guests. And they have a ton of little huts and different things. Um, but uh, here's one of Managi's little friends. Hi, little cutie. What's going on? Going, so we're here. It's actually closed, the viewing area where you go in. It's called Aliwagwag Falls. Um, Aliwagwag Falls Eco Park. And you can go up all the way up the falls into there. But 
probably because of COVID or who knows what, uh, it's been closed. Um, but this is the longest waterfall in the Philippines. Are you ready for this? Like, I'm serious. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Okay, here, watch. Surreal! Look at that. Look at the water is just so nice and emerald. Look at that. It just keeps going and going. And you can go walk when it's open. You can go walk all the way up this thing, way up, up, up to the top, and it just keeps going. And then there's just all these amazing pools that you can get in and go swimming. Um, I'm bummed that we can't go swimming in there. We might uh, go on this far side though and park over here, maybe uh, on our way out and go down and let Wanagi go in the water and swim because, oh my God, look at the water. It's just beautiful. Imagine if this was filled with trout. What a fishery. <laughs> but uh, there's a bunch of waterfalls back there in the, in the woods, but just look at this. Oh my God. It's just amazing. Look at it, just epic. Oh my God. Look at it. It just keeps going all the way up there. Woo! And around the corner and up and up and up. But just beautiful. Ali Wagwag. Ali Wagwag Falls. And a beautiful day. We need to get out of the beach resort and just kind of get out and have some fun for today. Uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, we might hit one or two more waterfalls, but this is the longest waterfall in the Philippines. I'm gonna fly the drone right now. Hopefully we can get signal and I can go fly up there and get some great views of the falls. So anyways, Aliwagwag Falls here. I'm gonna turn you back to it. Enjoy this view. It's epic. I hope it's as good on the video as it is here in real life because it's just amazing. Wow. We're here at uh, Iliwagwag Falls and uh, I just wanted to let Wanagi hopefully go swimming down here. I don't know if she can, but maybe we can figure out a way to get down here. She goes swimming. Hey, come on. They're all swallow nests under here. And they're actually those expensive spit nests. Wow, someone could make a fortune under this hole. Anyways. Look at all these swallows. Nagi's going swimming, which is good. She needed to. Come on, buddy. Hey, come over here. Come on. Go swimming. Come on. Come on. Come over here. Come on. Come here, buddy. Look. 
Go swimming. Come on. Hey, come here. Come on. Come over here. Come on. Let's go. Look at all the swallows. Amazing. Hey, honey, come here. Go swimming. There you go. Swimming. She's swimming. That's a good dad. Yeah. You got good dad. That's good. You got all that salt water rinsed off, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was nice. A beautiful waterfall. I'm sorry we didn't get to uh, go on the the tourist thing walking up the hill along the falls would have been really cool but hey we got to see it so i'm gonna try not to sink in the mud before i go hey come on let's go oh yeah of course she's gonna roll in the grass and in the mud <laughs> come here you turkey okay come here I'm here with a local here named Pax. I'm not going to film him though because he's not comfortable with that and that's totally cool. But I was driving down the road and I saw this, uh, it's fibrous material. I'm not sure what it's from, but it's basically, they're letting it dry out here to make essentially like a hemp rope out of it. But check this out, look, it's amazing. So it's just drying in the sun and then it's, it is uh, made out of palm palm yeah yeah so it's made out of palm and it's this real fibrous stuff and it's really wet so they they probably soak it and beat it on the rocks down by the river to get it loose and and uh uh malleable so it's not as stiff and then once they do that it kind of breaks the fibers down without breaking it apart and and it's wet and so then it dries in the sun which uh helps to strengthen it back up again and um, just amazing. Like, look at this stuff. They've got so much here on the other side, too. Look, check it out. There's just tons of it all through here. Like a whole harvest of it. But just amazing. Look at this stuff. Really cool. Right on. So just something unique here in the Philippines. Even the structure uh, using wood. And see, look, they've used the, the material to tie the wood up. And that's what this is gonna be. It's future rope for building nipa huts, for building uh, boats, for building everything it can be used for. So anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you. Guys rocking out, yeah, 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 yeah. And on dogs running after him. Hey dad, come on back. Anyways, totally cool. Bow, hanging out, munching some grass. That guy's got some big horns there. Look at him, big boy coming mud. Just checking them out, going, who the heck is this? Look, here's another one. Look who, what's that? What's that, Nagi? Look, what's that? What's that? Look. A big old mighty carabao right there, huh? A big old mighty carabao eating, eating, eating. Big old mighty carabao eating some grass, hanging out. Again, more of the nipa hanging, the strings. Uh, they hang them on the the uh, highway, hanging them on the highway guardrail, just making use of whatever they can to string that out and, and uh, let it dry out. Again, they take that uh, palm frond from the center of the palm frond, the stem part, and they strip that fibrous material out of it uh, and then take it down into the river and beat it into a pulp. Uh, not into a pulp, but you know, breaking up the fibrous parts of it so that it is more uh, malleable uh, easier to tie and more like string uh, and then uh, let it dry and then they use that for all sorts of stuff uh, mostly rope I imagine but um, anything really uh, in, in the Nipa huts uh, the ceilings are made with the actual palm fronds folded in half and you can see where they've kind of sewed through them uh, each one up and back up and down to kind of keep them uh, in place and that's the material they use is that uh, nipa thread like the from the palm crown pretty cool resourceful survival skills all you preppers out there make note this is how you make a, a house that'll last and be weatherproof hey good morning how's it going youtube we're here kicking on our porch uh, just relaxing we went out and did some meditation this morning. Last night we went next door to uh, Kyle Jennerman's house, and, uh, Kumar's house, 
uh, becoming Filipino and hung out and had soup. Durin, his girlfriend, made us a nice big uh, sing, sing, sinigang soup, uh, which is a bunch of vegetables and fish and uh, spices, and it was so good. Uh, good company. We had some good talks. Um, I didn't vlog over there. He did a little vlog episode introducing me, which was really nice of him. I appreciate that and my channel, or our channel, Wanagi and me, but, uh, but I didn't want to vlog. I just wanted to hang out, enjoy the company, enjoy the soup, and uh, I got to ask a ton of questions. He gave me so much insight into his, uh, some of his history and uh, also uh, how his channel has developed and uh, kind of his uh, uh, look into the future and, and how he's going to continue his channel. And it's amazing because it's, it's a lifestyle for him now. It's not about um, trying to act or trying to be something he's not. He's just showing his life here and, and truly is. It's amazing. I've uh, interacted with them for a few days here on the beach and been able to watch him uh, kind of build his episodes uh, partly uh, on the beach and surf and running and doing different things. Uh, and it's it's enlightening because he's just being him. <laughs> and that's the best thing. And that's why he has a million subscribers because he's a rock star and he's, he's doing it right. So uh, I'm definitely uh, am going to hopefully become good friends with these guys, uh, hopefully go on some adventures with them. But uh, most importantly, just they have built some friendships here uh, for surfing with Kumar, learning some, get my surf back on and, uh, and just, you know, learning more about the lifestyle here and how to maneuver through it as a foreigner because I definitely need to, like Bruce Lee said, be like water. Augie, she's just happy. She, we went for a nice long walk on the beach this morning. She had such a good time. But, uh, well, anyways, I'm going to get going, cutting up some potatoes, cutting up an onion, uh, bell pepper, some tomatoes, throw some eggs in there, call it breakfast. I've already made my instant coffee, which is basically, like I always like to say, the best meal of the day, and it really is instant coffee. Uh, so uh, that's it. And uh, we're just going to enjoy these TikToker family out on the beach, having fun and uh, being creative uh, on the beach, you know, uh, together family. It's awesome. All right. Peace out. So here, check it out. All our eggs are done. Yeah, little potatoes, little bell peppers, little onions, little potatoes, little eggs. And I said that potatoes already, but that's okay. There's twice as many potatoes. Potatoes, patatas. Anyways, so that's it. Eggs, potatoes, bell peppers, onions. Just trying to get a little decent breakfast. I've been eating pastries and coffee in the morning, which is great, but uh, sometimes it's good to get a little protein. We cleaned up, swept out the unit, uh, kind of cleaned up, shaked all the sand out of everything. We went for a walk this morning, like I said, meditation on the beach. So now we're going to eat, relax, and then hopefully as the tide goes out, look, the surf's picking up a little bit. And as the tide goes out, the waves will move out a little farther with the, with the tide and uh, it slopes and gets a little deeper. So it's a little more surfable. So that's it. We're going to eat our breakfast and then we're gonna go surfing probably.